Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we're continuing our geometry playlist. In our first three videos, we basically discussed the three centers of triangle, which were the orthocenter, the end center, and the circumcenter. So basically we made a video for each, uh, for each center of triangle, and we like uh, discussed the angle chasing that are related, the angles basically that are related to each center of the triangle. And today we are going to basically draw a triangle and put the three centers of triangle that we've learned so far together and try to find something like uh, really nice in our, in our diagram. So basically like today, we'll draw a simple triangle and we'll draw basically the orthocenter, the circumcenter and the incenter and we'll try to search for some nice angles that might give us some like uh, nice property. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Alright, so we'll basically start by drawing a simple triangle. Okay, so let's draw triangle ABC. Alright, so let's say that this is A, B, and C. Okay, and we've agreed that we're going to uh, put the three centers of triangle uh, on this basically triangle. So first of all, let's start with the orthocenter. So basically like the orthocenter is the concurrency point of the three altitudes. So let's say like we have here an altitude, another altitude here, like somewhere here. So it like should be some, somewhere here, basically. So let's say that this is the orthocenter here, H. All right, perfect. Okay, now we've put the orthocenter. Let's move on to the other center of triangle, and that is the circumcenter. So basically, the circumcenter is basically the meeting point of the three uh, perpendicular bisectors of the three uh, sides. So let's say, like, this is BC, here's the midpoint, and this is the uh, perpendicular bisector. Like, uh, this is AC, and this is, let's say, the midpoint, somewhere like, like maybe like uh, here, I believe, this may be here. This one as well, maybe here. Okay, well, this is not that accurate. Uh, so let's say like here is O. All right, and now we're left with the third uh, center of triangle, that is the uh, in center, I. So that is basically the uh, angle bisectors, the three angle bisectors meeting point. So like let's say it's, this is the angle bisector of A, this is the angle bisector of B, so it should be somewhere right here. Right. So let's say that this is I. Alright, okay. Great, so now we have our triangle ABC and we have the three centers of triangle HIO that's like we're already familiar with. We're familiar with H and its angles. If you remember, the angle BHC was 180 degrees minus A. The angle BIC was 90 degrees plus A over two and the angle BOC was basically two times A. Like we've discussed all of their angles in uh, like our three first videos. All right, so now actually, like let's basically draw AH, AI, and AO to try like to find some stuff, some cool stuff. Okay, so we'll start by drawing, like let's put that in another color, in black maybe. So first of all, AH, and AO. All right, now we will do some angle chasing. And this, like, this should be really uh, easy for us because we already know all the angles. Like if you followed the three like our three first videos, you should like do all the angles here uh, in no time. Okay, so what was the angle BAH? What is this angle? How do we calculate this angle? Well, this is really simple. This is an altitude, right? So like imagine like 
the feet of the altitude here. This is 90 degrees, a right triangle. So if this was B, then this is simply 90 degrees minus B. All right, that's cool. So this is simply 90 minus B. Perfect. Okay, what about this angle, OAC? This one right here. How do we calculate this angle? Well, not difficult at all. Remember, O is the circumcenter, so it's the center of the uh, circumcircle. That means that if you draw OC as well, you have an isosceles triangle, OAC. But guess what? The angle AOC is 2 times B. We already know that, 2 times B. So that means this angle and this angle are both 90 minus B. So in fact, this angle here is 90 minus B. Well, I guess you already have spotted something nice, which is clearly this angle is the same as this angle. So guess what? BAH and CAO, uh, they are both the same. They measure the same angle. Okay. Okay. What, was that? what does that mean exactly? Well, we still like didn't draw the like AI, right? So let's do that. Like, let's put it in another color. Prefer so in green. All right. Remember what was AI? AI is the angle bisector. So this angle is A over two, and this angle is A over two. So basically, the two angles are the same. And furthermore, this angle is the same as this angle. So we know now that IAC is the same as IAB and OAC is the same as HAB. So guess what? What does that mean? That means actually that the angle, the sub, like we can subtract this one from this one to get this angle. And we can subtract this one, like we get this one from this one to get this angle. And guess what? They're the same. So we basically now concluded that this angle is the same as this angle. So guess what? AI, in fact, is also an angle bisector of HAO. So not only uh, like AI is the angle bisector of BAC, but it's also the angle bisector of HAO. That's really like cool because like uh, we can like uh, basically interpret this in a nice way like with reflections, because as you know, like uh, when you reflect a line over a line, like for example here, we, we clearly know that uh, BA and uh, CA are the reflection of each other over the angle bisector AI. Clearly, if you take BA and reflect it over AI, which is the angle bisector, you will get the line AC. So now we can do the same here for HAO. If you take the altitude and you reflect it over the angle bisector, what will you get? Well, you will simply get AO, the line AO, right? Like, like here's a really important thing. Don't think that H is the reflection of, or sorry, O is the reflection of H over I. That's not what we mean here. Here we're just doing like reflection over line, not like over points. All right, so we'll repeat that again. AO is the reflection of AH over AI. AO is the reflection of the altitude over the angle bisector. So that's actually really a nice property because guess what? This is not only true for point A, it's also true for vertex B and vertex C as well. So in fact, that means that AO and AI are like symmetrical over AI, the same for B, the same for C. And that's actually have like a really uh, special uh, name that we will learn like uh, maybe later that's like something called isogonal conjugates so in fact an isogonal conjugate is the reflection over the angle bisector that means that a h it, uh, or sorry like uh, h is the isogonal conjugate of o and the same uh, like wh what's the reason for this uh, it's simple because a h is the reflection of uh, a o over the angle bisector a i the same for B, the same for C. So like that was really a cool thing that uh, we, or we proved really fast just uh, using the angle chasing technique that we already learned before. All right, so that was like one example why remember like uh, memorizing these angles which are related to the three centers of triangle, basically H, I, and O, really help you 
like to get really nice uh, properties in your uh, problem, like in your problems when you're solving problems. All right. So that was basically like our first, uh, like uh, not not just angle chasing, but our first property that we were able to show using the angle chasing technique. Okay. So after we finished like dealing with the three centers of triangle and uh, like we've discussed this like uh, magical reflection basically in this video like uh, in the next video we'll be learning a, a really important and very very important technique that like we should master in uh, angle chasing and th these are basically the cyclic quadraterals like how can we show a quadrateral is cyclic uh, or basically uh, if, if we know that like a uh, a quadrilateral is cyclic, then what does that mean regarding the angles? How can this help us uh, like uh, knowing about the angles or doing the angle chasing? So basically in the next video, we'll be learning the cyclic quadrilaterals and then we will come back to each center of triangle because guess what? Like we, we didn't even like uh, discuss like basically half of the properties of each uh, center of triangle. So we will like uh, learn about uh, cyclic quadrilaterals in the next lesson and then we will discuss each center of triangle again but with more awesome and really nice properties so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video